Hey everybody, it's Dominic from the Primetime Treasure eBay store and YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video. You know, one of the most popular things to sell on eBay are books. It could be hardcover books, paperback books, comic books, all sorts of books. Uh, but one of the things that you may encounter as a reseller that's a problem you need to fix are books that are bent. Now, this could happen for several reasons in which you might encounter this. It could be that you purchased a large lot of books. For example, maybe you went to a garage sale and you found a, a you know a big box of paperback books. You got a great deal on it. You pick it up, you bring it home, or um, maybe you find um, a big box of comic books like you see here, and um, you, know, you grab that, you make a good deal, you bring it home. Now, uh, most of them are straight, but you pull one out and you find that one is really bent. Or maybe you're out uh, looking um, at a flea market for example and you see a table there's a bunch of books you look one up has great comps it's a paperback book but it's bent upwards in one area and you say to yourself oh man no one's gonna want that uh, you know because after all who really wants to read a bent book uh, so maybe you don't purchase it but there's ways to fix these things if you're just willing to put in a little bit of work. It's very, very simple, but I want to show you how to do it. So let's take an example. Uh, recently, I bought a large collection of 4,000 comic books. Um, that was a video that I showed recently and uh, went in the, um, in the collection. And one of the books that I found was this one. This is uh, Infinity Gauntlet. Now, this book uh, is, is number one of a six issue series. If I have all six issues and they're near mint condition, I could put that on eBay for about $145 and it should sell. So, um, you know, it's a very popular series. But the problem with this book right here that you're gonna see is it is bent. You see right here how it is bent upwards. Now, I'm using the example of a comic book, but we could use the same example if you have like a paperback book or something like that. So let's just use this as an example um, because it's interesting how we're gonna um, approach this. Because one of the things that is going on here is that this is in a backing board and this backing board what happens to it is that remember I pulled these out of a shed and so when humidity starts to get to these backing boards what happens is they start to bend upwards so um, it's actually the backing board that's create getting uh, more of the damage to it uh, from bending than the actual book how do we know that well watch I'm gonna pull this out of the of the bag okay so we're just gonna take the book out and I'm going to put the book down to the side for just a second. It's a little snug in here. But just look at this. Okay. You see how it is the board that is bending upwards. And that would cause damage to the actual book. But if we look at the book itself. Okay. It's not as bad as the actual board is bent up. Now it is bent up a little bit. Okay, it has a natural bend upwards, which we want to make sure we get rid of. Otherwise, this book would be a near mint condition. And that's important because a near mint condition set of Infinity Gauntlet 1 through 6, again, sells for $145 pretty easily online. Remember, I bought the entire collection of 4,000 comics for $500. So I could get 150 bucks pretty much back just by selling six of them. So this is, you know, how that works by the way and trying to recover that money. So what are we going to do? So first thing we're going to do is we want to make sure that we take it out of this uh, bag and board. And what we want to do is we want to put it in a new bag and board. So I've got a new uh, bag and board right here, already prepared it. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take the comic and we're going to slide it inside of here. Okay, we'll just put it right like that. So now this is naturally going to already start straightening it. It's it's basically like um, you're putting braces on it practically. Okay, and you know just as long as you keep it in good conditions, uh, environmental conditions, you don't expose it to a lot of humidity, then this board is not going to bend. Um, now, if I take it out of here, it's still going to have that little bend to it, obviously, right now. So the way we're going to fix this is uh, what I would suggest is you're going to take it, you have it in the bag to protect it, and I'm going to show you here. We're going to face it down, just like this, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to take, let me get a better shot of it here. 
we're gonna take a massive book like this, okay? Like this is a big medical book, all right? And we're just gonna plop it right down on top like that. Put a lot of pressure. I mean, this is a big, strong, heavy book, as you can see. Really, really thick, really, really heavy. Then we're gonna take another one and put it right down on top like this. So now it's really, really, really weighing down on it. And what we're gonna do is leave it like this for about 24 hours. Now, depending on how bad the bend is, you may have to do it for longer than that. So after 24 hours, you might take it, it still looks bent. You might flip it over on the other side so that, let's say you do something like this after 24 hours. Let's just pretend 24 hours went by, we saw it still had a bend in it. Then we could take it this way, okay? You just gotta be careful because you don't wanna damage the book underneath. Just put it like that gently, put it like that gently, and then you'll keep it that way for another 24 hours. So um, this is called pressing. Now, one thing you may not be aware of, especially in the area of comic books, is that if there are little imperfections in the book, for example, even little creases, um, you could actually send away to companies like uh, CGC and you could actually ask them to professionally press your book. So they will put it in a fancy machine that literally presses the imperfections out of it and that will result in a higher grade in terms of the quality of the book when you go to get it graded on a 10 point scale, which people will pay for that because just you know a point or a half a point sometimes in a grade increase could mean thousands and thousands of dollars in terms of um, what the value is when it's graded in a slab. So, you know, just keep that in mind. There are actually professional pressing services available. So let's have 24 hours go by and then we're gonna take this book out and we're gonna see what it looks like. All right, everybody, we're back. It's 24 hours later. Let's take a look at the book and see what it looks like. So I'm uh, just gonna tilt this down for a moment. And as you can see here, books are still sitting here. I'm gonna move them off to the side. And we've got our comic right below. And let's just tilt the camera back up. There we go. And now we're going to take it out. And there we go. It is nice and straight. Looks really good. There's no tilting up here at all. Um, it really looks nice and flat and nice and straight. There we go. Perfect. Now I could take this, I could put it right in here and this will keep it straight. And now I could combine it with issue two, issue three, issue four, issue five, and issue six for, like I said, about $145. So um, that's how you do it. Uh, if it's a, a, you know, not a comic book and a regular, you know, paperback book, it's the same type of process. You could even do this with um, hardcover books that have a little bend in it, although it is trickier and you're gonna have to press it for longer um, and with um, even, you know, more, uh, weight on top of it, but um, it, it definitely can improve the uh, overall look of the book by doing it that way. So um, it's just basically a, uh, an informal pressing process that you set up yourself at home. So you just have to keep at it and, uh, you know, keep doing it for longer and longer periods depending on how bad the, uh, the actual bend is. So uh, I hope this tip was helpful for you in setting up your own uh, pressing system at home to fix bends in books and uh, help you get the value for it um, that you should be able to realize. So if it helped, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure that you um, subscribe to the channel. If you feel that these videos are helping you out, go check out many of my other videos. There's over 150 at this point. Uh, also, make sure you drop a comment down below or a question. If you have a question, I try to respond to all the comments and questions. 
And um, also, if you want other reselling tips, make sure you come to my Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center. The link to that is down below. Hope to see you there. Just send a join request, and I'll let you in as long as everything looks okay with your profile. Take care, everyone.